Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here at the school. Make sure those legs are warmed up because it's time to go through some kicking drills. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the tornado kick, also known as the 360 turning kick, 360 crescent kick. There's all sorts of different names. Well, I'm going to break, I'm going to do it in three stages or three levels. So we've beginner level, intermediate, and then there's going to be advanced level. The advanced level, of course, will have a slight add-on to it so that you can blend your kicks together nicely. But for this, you need to make sure you're warmed up correctly. And you also need to make sure you've got your paddles so you can get the maximum benefit of your practice. So the beginner part of this is to just be able to hop from one leg to the other and put the kick out. So to keep this so that everyone can follow, I'm going to do it with a crescent kick. Now you can do this with turning kick as well, but of course when you're doing a turning kick, you just got to remember the difference here is you just need to turn your hips over a bit more to allow the turning or twisting action to happen but for now we'll keep it to a crescent kick so this is for complete beginners who have never done this this first one has never done this before or just need a bit of a refresher but the first drill you're going to do with your paddle in front of you and your partner holding it is you're going to be guard up you're going to chamber one leg and what you're going to do is you're going to switch legs so effectively you're going to do this but as you switch the other leg is going to kick right across the top so from here it's going to be up and then round like so now at the moment, it doesn't seem like much, but you need to be able to go through the basics in order to get the move down. So, you start off, chamber pointing at the target. Now it's really important that you try to keep this up for as long as you can, and then kick over and land back in your guard again. So it's here, up, over and kick, and down. All right, so one more time. So it's chamber, so you bounce off the standing leg, kick over and land in your guard up, so you end up with the other leg forward. You can also practice on both sides. So it's here, up, and round. So this time a little bit faster, you can do it with this leg if need be, chain up, round, and kick. That's the beginner part. Now, to go into media from that, we need to add a spinning row, a movement, or a rotational movement. So, from here, we do the exact same thing, except instead of going here, then jumping over, we chamber spin and jump over. Now, this kind of kick works best off of the back of crescent kicks, turning kicks, or spinning kicks, but we're just gonna do it straight off the spot. All right, so from here, you start off, you pick which leg you're gonna kick with, all right? That's gonna be your lead leg. So I've got this leg forward at the moment, which means this one's gonna come round. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chamber this leg. I'm still gonna do this motion, but the difference is I'm gonna spin first. So I'm gonna go chamber, spin, and then come round. So it uses a lot more momentum. Let's try it on the other side as well. So. Same motion as the beginner part, but for this one, add the rotation. So you chamber the back leg, because you know you're gonna kick with your front leg. All right, so you chamber your back leg, you go round, all right? Now think back to previous videos when I talked about spinning kicks and when to extend them, okay? Just as you're off target, that's when you come round and throw your kick. So, a little bit faster, go round, and here. Now it's quite a, it's quite a fast kick, as you can see. Now, that, the advanced version of that is to carry it on or do it from a follow-up. So, an example of a follow-up would be if you uh, do that kick and then you add a spin hook kick to the end of the rotation. So, effectively what will happen is you'll do your spin, hook kick, and then you'll spin again and throw a second kick straight after it, which, is, which takes a lot of skill. So, you do the first and second part and you put an ending to it so that you can inspire your body to keep the rotation going and that's going to really help with your awareness and you know judging distance so start off there's your chamber jump around and spin as soon as you land you keep turning you pick up your other leg and then do whichever kick follows naturally for you from there i've done a hook kick and that just feels natural for me but you might prefer to do it with a crescent kick so that's with a follow-up this time we'll put something on the front of it to give it some momentum. And as I said before, you can do this with turning kicks, crescent kicks, all right? So an example would be, this is gonna be the chambering leg. So I'm gonna use this one to set it up, to then go chamber, to then go jump, and then obviously land. Okay, so from here, it's gonna be inwards crescent kick down, chamber the back leg, round, jump up, kick down, then spin and rotate out of it. I'm gonna do it from the side. Because there's a lot of kicks coming towards you there, all right? So it'd be one, two, three. And it's really rapid. It's very, very uh, 
redundant, doesn't really, doesn't really stop, all right, unless, unless you uh, run out of room. <laughs> In any case, those are the three movements there. So you've got beginner, you've got intermediate, and then you've got the advanced version where you stick something on the end and or the front of it. So with your paddles and your partners, give that a try. Again, make sure you're really warmed up and be, uh, you know, be careful with your surroundings and that. But give that a go and uh, leave a like, a comment and a share on the video. And as always, happy training.